hello friends how are you doing in the video today we will be speaking about how to apply for Poland visa and how to travel to Poland and as always we will start by speaking about uh, the visa policy of the country of Poland and then how to apply how to fill the application form then all the required documents that you will need while doing your application but before we start don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and if you have any inquiry or question please write it below in the comment section and I will respond to you back in 24 hours first let's explain together the visa policy map of the Schengen area as a country of today is a part of the Schengen area so if you are a holder of a passport belong to any country of the Schengen area if or if you are a holder of a visa of any country in the Schengen area you have a free access to any country inside the uh, Schengen uh, area uh, and also there are some countries who can get access to Schengen area without visa for example countries of uh, all the countries of North America Austria United Arab Emirates Japan uh, Korea Malaysia and uh, many countries uh, in South America all these countries can get uh, into the Schengen area and stay there for uh, 90 days for the rest of the world speaking about all African countries and almost all uh, Asian countries all these countries must obtain visa before traveling to the Schengen area and some of these countries like Iran Iraq uh, Ethiopia Somalia Pakistan you will need both visas for traveling to, uh, to the Schengen area or even transiting inside the Schengen area so basically this is the official site for filling the application form this is the general site uh, here you will have to choose your country if i choose a you'll find albania algeria e you'll find egypt uh, i for india b for pakistan and in this video i will assume i am applying from egypt so if i'm applying i will click egypt and you have to choose your consulate choose caro for example okay they are giving me here as a consulate uh, address and here I want to uh, Schengen visa register form I would like to register a form I will click over here okay then okay this are, those are some re, uh, reg, uh, regulations and you will have to print it here I will click I am a human please click each Im uh, image containing a motor bus 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 verify next then type of visa service schengen visa location cairo the same process if you are applying from india pakistan any place and those are uh, the available dates for applying for the visa then i will click next okay then you will have to fill all those details and all the details with a star must be filled surname birth first name date of birth for example place of birth country of birth we choose Egypt so we we'll keep with Egypt nationality Will remain with Egypt at birth Egypt and male single I don't have to give national ID number ordinary passport the number of the passport date of issue let's say that day and valid until which year for example for example issued by the issuing office uh, in case of minor I will say does not apply so I don't have to fill all these parts and then uh, the applications the applicants home address and email address state 
we're choosing Egypt, state of province, write the place, the postal code, the address, and then the email, your email. the phone number the phone another phone number phone area code oh, this is a phone area code oh, for example two three four five six seven eight nine uh, residency in a country other than the country of current nationality I'll say no okay here part of current occupation uh, whatever it is for example employer and employer address and phone number for students name and address employer name state Egypt state of province you're giving your work details here place postal code address I don't have to give all those other details I'm going for tourism for example and uh, details are regarding travel agreements I'm going to Poland number of states of first entry I'll say mem uh, of I'll say Poland requested I will say single visa requested for let's say 60 days intended date of travel let's say uh, in March let's say in that day okay other Schengen visa issued? No. Fingerprints collected? No. Entry permit for the final country of destination where applicable does not apply. Uh, data of receiving person? I will be receiving it in person. Okay. Uh, Okay, the name of host person or company in Schengen States and contact person uh, if not applicable name of a hotel or temporary address in Schengen area. So you can write a name of hotel or temporary address. I will say for example uh, for the name of the hotel, the surname, the country, Poland, the place, the postal code the address house number flat number oh you don't have to give the, the, those details there are just extra details but it's good to fill all the details cost of traveling and living during the applicant's stay is covered by the applicant himself I'll say here by cash and credit card and other if there is any other details okay uh, U.S. citizen data. Do you have any U.S. citizen, uh, 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 and you will depend on? So I will say it does not apply. I have no connection there. The statement: I'm aware that the visa fees is not refunded if the visa is refused. Okay, applicable in case of multiple visa entry is applied. Okay. Okay, and I will click after that. Continue. there is an error let's check all the data which data this is a problem okay yes phone area code one two three four five six seven eight nine and let's check the rest also if there is any other 
that I need to be filled. Okay. It is all filled. Let's click continue. Save applicant from are correct. Okay, I will say correct. And I will click continue. As the data entered in the visa application form are correct and the press save button to confirm. Save, confirm. Okay, now I will have to print the visa. And this is my form number. Okay, it is printed over here. Let's open it. And that's how my visa application looks like after filling. All the needed parts, uh, parts are filled. You will just need in the end to write the place and the date and to put your uh, signature. And here they are giving you uh, the location uh the location and even they're giving you the date of your appointment it will be that date and they're giving you also that timing so you have your timing you have your date you just need to go to submit your visa application uh, either to the center or to the place uh, regarding to egypt you will have to submit it uh, inside the visa uh, the the embassy itself inside the, the embassy of poland in cairo but if you are applying from india you will have to uh, uh, apply through vfs global you have to book an appointment uh, in the vfs global uh, company and after that you will have to go there and you'll have to be uh, to pay your fees uh, there the visa application fees uh, are fixed it will be 80 uh, euros and here let's check more details for example how much does it cost this is a cost in Egyptian bound if you are applying from Egypt but if you are applying from India the visa fees will be this will be the short term visa fees and as I told you equal to 80 uh, euros and in case the visa application will be accepted either if you're applying from India, Pakistan or Egypt in case your, appli uh, your, your application will be uh, accepted the visa will be issued and you, you will be ready to receive your visa in your passport and in the next section I will be telling you what are the other required documents you will need while applying for the visa Speaking about the documents you will need to apply for the visa, the first document is your passport. Speaking about the passport, the passport must be original, the issue date must be not older than 10 years, with at least 6 months of remaining validity, and with at least 2 blank visa pages for the stamps. Number 2, you will need a photocopy of your passport. The passport photocopy is recommended to be colored must show both data page and the photo page if they are separated number three you will need personal pictures for the personal picture you will need two pictures not older than six months clear shows full face with white background and shows neutral expressions no head or face covering accepted except for religious reasons number four you will need visa application forms for the visa application form it could be an online form filled online printed then signed it could be also a pdf form filled on computer printed then signed and also it could be a hand filled form printed then filled then signed its type depends of the country of the visa and will be explained individually in each video number five you will need a proof of status for the proof of status it varies if you are an employee or work in a company you will need a letter from an employer or hr office or your sponsor stating designation the date of employment the salary the period of stay purpose of visit and financial arrangements shall also be mentioned the letter must have an original signature and a stamp but if you are an owner of your own company or a partner in a company you will need a copy of the company commercial registry and 
tax card should also be presented. And if you are a student in a school or college, enrollment letter should be provided. Number six, for foreigners, you will need a legal residence permit. If you are not applying for a visa in the country of your own citizenship, you must provide the original and photocopy of your valid certificates of residence, employment, or student status, or other valid certificates of legal stay, provided by the relevant authorities of the country where the visa center is located. Number seven, you will need a proof of funds. You will also need a proof of sufficient financial means to cover the period of your intended stay. A bank statement for the last six months showing regular income. The original bank statement must show the applicant's name and be stamped and signed by the bank's representative. Please note that cash will not be accepted as a proof of funds. In case you don't have a bank account, a proof of any assets can also be presented. Number eight, you will need a flight reservation. The flight reservation is also an important document. A primary booking of flight ticket reservation must be presented, including the return trip. And in some cases, for some countries, this flight ticket must be confirmed. Number nine, you will need a proof of accommodation. You will also need to provide a proof of accommodation for the whole duration of the intended stay. It should be a confirmed hotel reservation. The confirmation needs to be issued directly by the hotel, guest house, and clearly state the visa applicant's full name, dates of accommodation, the hotel address, and the contact details. In case you don't have a hotel reservation, you will need an invitation by the Office of Citizenship and Migration Affairs or invitation from a host. The host can be company, friends, family, and it should indicate the address of accommodation. And those are some sites you can use to book your accommodation place. Number 10, you will need a health insurance certificate. In many cases, you will need a travel insurance certificate, especially for Schengen countries. It should be covering the whole period of stay, including the information on terms and conditions. The insurance should cover all medical expenses, including emergency hospital treatment and repartition of the period of your stay in the Schengen area, covering at least 30,000 Euros. The travel insurance certificate shall be signed and stamped by the insurance company representatives or be able to confirm it online. Those are some sites of companies you can use for your travel insurance.